Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me an email last night uh, trying to ask me to explain Windows Character Map. I don't like it, I don't use it, but I'm gonna show you how to get it. Just go to your Start menu. Uh, every Start menu is gonna be a little bit different. Go down to Windows, Accessories, and Character Map. And if you like it, you can drag it over to your taskbar. Now you can open up. The only the reason I don't like it, it's I can't figure out how to make the letters bigger so I could select them. But we need the scent sign, which is right there. And this is another reason I don't like it. Copy, paste. And it's going to put it in a paragraph text that you're going to have to go to text, artistic text, and make this part is 24, so we need to make our new scent. 24, and then bring that over, and you have your scent sign for apples are 32 cents. And it's it's lining it up with the bottom of the P's. And even if you go here and select E, which is lining it horizontally, it's making it equal, but the scent sign just looks funny. I don't like all the extra steps. When you can go to Windows, Dockers, and go down to Text and open up, I don't even know what that word is yet. That's in 2018. And that's uh, one of the reasons I was going to show you. Uh, we're going to type in Arial. And, and there's Arial and all the you know, the scent sign's in there somewhere. But the reason I like it is because you can make this bigger. And then you can make the fonts bigger if you really want to look at something. Pretty cool stuff in there. Uh, the scent sign's in there somewhere. I'm not going to take your time to do it. But if you want the pound side, which, which you have on your keyboard, all you have to do is just drag it in. And if you notice, it dragged it in at 24 points, so I didn't have to change it. Now, the real reason for the video, I decided to do it, is if you go with Gabriola, and look at all their embellishments, and all the characters, here's just embellishments, here's letters, some letters, I don't think it's got all the letters, but it's, you know, it's got some pretty neat stuff. And like there's a P, and if you wanted to use that, or let's do let's do this, well, let's find a regular G. Like just like well, let's just do this Y, and just grab it and just bring it in, and there's you a Y. Now if you wanted to, let me see one that we could work with. See here's just embellishments or squiggles, and. Let me see one I kind of think I can work with something else. I mean, these are pretty cool squiggles. I mean, there's a lot of them. But what I was saying, if you wanted to, I mean, there's a capital A, a capital G, a capital D. I mean, and you can see these inside of, of uh, without going to this, if you type out something in Gabriola, let's just type out something, and um, let's type out the word grace, turn it to Gabriola, and all you have to do to look at some of them, but it doesn't show them all to you, is get your text tool and get to a certain point and just cursor down until you see this arrow. There's all the words grace with embellishments. And that's all you have to do to get that. But you could add one of those other embellishments to it. Let's back up and not have grace. Let's go to Windows, Dockers, text, and let's get one of these embellishments. Let's make our window bigger so we can have more. And 
and I, I could have sworn, well, well, here's, let's, let's hear, and you could add one, but let's do this one right here. Let's say you like that, it could be a squiggle. How do you get rid of that circle? Let's take it and left click, right click, and this is pretty easy to do. Take, turn it into a curve, so you can use your shape tool, and just bring this line down, bring this line down, bring this line up, bring this line up, get your virtual segment delete key and delete those lines. Now, you've got a little bit of an edge on the outside, so you could either take it away or use the Smart Field tool to make sure everything's welded and everything works. And let's say you're gonna use that for cutting out a letter, but it's a little bit too thin for you. I'm going a little bit too far with this, but I can't stop. Click on your line, go to effects and contour. Let's contour just 0 0.02 to the outside in red so we can see it. That's a little bit much. Let's go 0 0.01, contour, go up to a range, break contour apart, take the inside one and hit delete. Now you've got a lot thicker embellishment. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.